Hello guys, good morning everyone. As you can see here, this is Acer Aspire 3. Okay, everything is fine except the trackpad. Since I reinstalled the Windows 10 Pro on it, it's no longer work. It's not even after the installation. Once I begin the Windows installation process completely, this one became disabled. So you're gonna find out why, what's the reason, and how we can sort it out. Because before I reinstall it, everything was absolutely fine. Okay. We can check right now. Let's check. As you can see here, completely nothing does work. Okay. Um, in case this is uh, disabled by the key, we'll try this to make it enable in case. You know, we never know. So press the FN key. F7, nothing happened, still, but when you connect any external mouse, it does work. Alright, as you can see now, it's working. Okay. And if you go to the manage, and then device manager. device manager okay if you go to the mouse and other stuff it shows only the external one okay there are some drivers is not up to date it anyway I have got a different solution for it I'm going to show you how to do that so let's start and see All right, so I'm going to turn off this machine and physically I will disconnect the trackpad from the motherboard and reconnect it and that should resolve the issue because past many years I did sort it out that way. Okay, I don't know why it's happening, but let's check it out. Okay, now I'm going to turn it off first and see what happened. Shut it down. Fine. Take out this external mouse as well. Now, all right. Close it back like this and find out. Okay, so first disconnect the battery. Fine. And that is the actual trackpad panel connector. Disconnect it. Even take it out your CMOS battery in case. Disconnect it. We're going to reconnect everything and see what happened. So let's put the CMOS battery first, which is here, and then the trackpad, which is right here, 
and now the battery okay so now let's put the back lead on and we'll see what is the difference did it make okay so the battery mouse um, trackpad connected rest everything as it was Actual drive first. Okay, good. Anyway, before I put all the screws into the place, I'm going to turn it on and see if the issue is resolved. But let's close this cover first. And we'll go to the control panel and check if it does work then we'll go to the control panel and check if there is any mouse driver up to date okay as i mentioned you earlier i reinstalled the driver still it was not working okay close it back Seems everything on place. Fine. Just dusty. Hopefully there is some charge on the battery. I'm gonna turn it on and see if there is any magic. Okay, that's fine. It says no bootable drive. The reason is we disconnected the drive and put it back on. So I'm going to turn it off and change the boot mood. Okay. So as, as soon as I press the power button, come back to F2 and keep pressing it. I'm going to go to main, then F12, let's make it enable go to boot I'm going to choose legacy so in that way I can directly choose the hard drive uh, F10 yes now I have 12 again all right so as you can see the hard drive Toshiba hit enter it's going to load up from there Right, so the window started already, and as you can see, the trackpad is working. Let's disable and enable it again. As you can see, this is not moving. All right, so now, honestly, I don't know what's the reason. It happened to many laptops like that. And when I physically disconnected the trackpad flex from the motherboard, reconnect it, it was absolutely working. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the device manager and check if uh, there is any changes. Right. Hello, 
All right, so now we're going to go to device manager and check. Alright, so now we're going to go back to mouse and pointing devices. As you can see, HID compliant mouse is on there. Okay. That is quite strange because manually, when I went to the official site for Acer drivers, even I downloaded both of them and reinstall it didn't work now once I disconnected and reconnect again it's absolutely fine okay so that's the one solution if you are really fa failure if there is no nothing to do obviously you can try that option and try to sort it out if it doesn't then you must need to change the operating system and try again Okay, because imagine it, you reinstall the driver for the trackpad from the official side and you checked everything, even this one connected properly, even it was working before you reinstalled the new system. Which other solution you could do? You can't say this is damaged function. Functionally, it's inactive, but the mechanism is not damaged, but it's not working. Then it's worth it to give it a try in that way. And try to resolve the issue okay so please if you really try if it did work leave the comment if it also doesn't let us know how you feel and I will try my best to reply you and please do subscribe my channel so in that way you can have some more future videos thank you so much for watching guys and bye for now